Okay, so again in this problem, I think it's good to start off with our equation. We know that molarity is equal to moles divided by volume in litres. And that's what we're looking for here is concentration. And concentration is molarity. So we know that that's what we're looking for is moles per litre. And I will put that down here. That's moles per litre. That's our target unit for, for the end. And that's the same as big M, and that's what I've got here in the answer. All right, so what do I need to do? Well, I've got grams here, and with grams I know I can get to moles. And that will be the, the first part of my equation here. So 122 grams. I know grams will go on the bottom. I know moles will go on top. That will give me moles. Uh, the relationship here is one mole is equal to the molecular weight, which is 58.44 grams. So at the moment I've got moles. What I know I need is moles per litre. So if I leave the moles there, and in order to get moles per litre, what I can do is uh, divide by the volume. Now the volume here is already in litres. If it was in millilitres, I'd have to do a conversion at the end. But since it's in litres, you can see that now what I've got is moles over litres. Now what I did here was I did times 1 over the volume, which is the same as saying divided by the volume. So here's moles divided by the volume, or if you'd like, moles times 1 over volume in litres. Now there's no unit here next to the 1. All I'm doing is just figuring this out so I get the unit, so moles times 1 over volume, moles per litre. And that's how I'm getting my answer. Now the number of significant figures here, there's uh, three sig figs here, three sig figs here, so the answer is going to come out to be three sig figs as well. That's 0.881 big M, or if you'd like, 0.881 moles per litre.